turning to stone. Why? Help! 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 Wow. Oh no! Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. The dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue. It looks like Snow White. Cool! I want a statue that looks like me. Wait, I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil! Oh no! Today we're reading Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Wiggle, snap, story time! Mike was the coolest girl around. She was funny. And then I said, that's not a yo-yo, it's a chicken. <laughs> and best of all, she was kind to every oh. creature on earth. She was even kind to her stepmother, Katrine, Francesca, Karina, Amelia, Anastasia, Von Kluster, Scott, and Scott. You can call her the evil queen for short. As you might guess, the evil queen was not nice at all. It's like she only cares about herself. Yes, that was the problem. The queen did not care for anyone other than herself, and she cared for herself way too much. She even traveled all the way to Grim Forest, wow. where the witches lived, just to buy a magic mirror that would tell her how great she was. Story time, story time. Miss Booksy's gonna meet you inside her magic books. Cinderella's dressed in blue. Goldilocks and spinning clock. Wiggle snap, wiggle snap. Everybody wiggle snap, wiggle snap, wiggle snap. Everybody wiggle snap. This one is real nice. It'll tell you how wonderful you are. Error, error. Oh! Never mind, that one's no good. Okay, now this magic mirror is top of the line. You're gonna love it. Honestly, I'm getting some mean vibes from you. <laughs> Next. Uh, okay, uh, this one. This is a great magic mirror. Go ahead, ask it. Excuse me, Mr. Mirror. No, 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 no. You gotta say mirror, mirror on the wall. It likes that. All right. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? You are my queen. You are the most amazing person of all. You're the best. Aha, I'll take it. Oh man, Snow White's stepmother loved that mirror. She would ask it like a dozen times a day if she was still the most amazing person in all the land. Will you pass the gravy, please? Hold on, hold on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. It's your turn. Yes, yes, one moment. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This again. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, the mirror was pretty annoying. The queen loved giving Snow White chores, as evil queens tend to do. So one day she was cleaning the evil queen's bedroom. She was just about finished when she noticed some schmutz on the magic mirror. Snow White reached out to dust the mirror and... <gasps> it's you! What? You are the most amazing person in the land! Why, thank you, but don't say that. The queen will get, like, really mad. Ugh, she is so mean. But I can see that you have a good heart. Aww. Thanks for the compliment, but you really must keep telling her that she's the best. Promise? Okay. Long story short, the mirror did not keep his promise for long. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the most amazing person of all? You, my lady, are an amazing person. Of all? Yeah, sure, of all. Say it then, say the whole thing. Um... <laughs> what is that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It sounded like something. It's just that Snow White may be more amazing. But the queen didn't scream or break things, and she didn't cry. She was just very quiet. That's not good, kids. When the evil queen gets quiet, it means she's really, 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 really mad. For revenge, she gave Snow White an endless list of chores to do. I had to clip her toenails. Ugh. I had to brush her cat's teeth. And as always, I had to clean her room, which she had left super messy on purpose. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Tomorrow I'm sending you to the Grim Forest to return this defective mirror. I'm sure you'll both have a lovely time. Wake up! What time is it? It's time to go to the Grim Forest. <laughs> Here's the mirror. 
What happened to it? It's all smashed. See, I told you it was defective. See ya. She'll find her way into the forest, but she'll never find her way out. <laughs> okay, this is only extremely very scary. No big deal. I wish the queen hadn't busted the mirror. He would be good company about now. Ugh, in these directions. Walk backwards down the dragon's path? Make a left at the gargoyles. A backwards left or a frontwards left? Then hop on one foot. Why? And so the wishes shop should be? You who right here. You looking for me? Yeah. How'd you know? Oh, just witch's intuition. That means I'm a really good guesser. Come inside. So, my stepmom wants to return this mirror. Oh, this mirror is very smart. Top of the line. Or at least it was. Yeah, I think the queen had a temper tantrum. <laughs> I remember her. Ugh, she's a doozy. Tell me about it. <laughs> this mirror was perfect for her. He knows when to tell a little white lie. Oh, like telling her she's the most amazing in the land? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a fib if I ever heard them. Hey, I think we could just fix the mirror? I was starting to like him and I have a feeling I'm gonna need his all-knowing powers. <laughs> all-knowing is good. We'll just put a new face on him, new frame, and boom! Looks brand wow. new! Awesome! Snow White said goodbye to the witch and began her journey out of the Grim Forest. Why, hello there! Hi! <laughs> Maybe the Grim Forest isn't so bad. Once upon a time, a girl named Snow White was on a journey through the woods and needed to find her way home. Luckily, she had a magic mirror with her. It's getting dark and I'm lost. Wait, I know. The mirror will know how to get out. Um, hello, Mr. Mirror? Where's the on switch? <laughs> Snow White tried everything she could think of to get the mirror to work. She tried voice command. Mirror, activate! She tried shaking it. Finally, she tried yelling at no one in particular. Why? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. Are you okay? I'm lost, and it's dark, and this mirror is supposed to know everything, and it won't turn on. And I'm hungry, and I'm scared, and... Aww. Who are you? I'm the professor. You must be smart. Do you know the way out of this forest? I need to get back to my kingdom. Yep, follow me. Okay. The professor led Snow White out of the grim forest, all the way to where Snow White had began. Thank you so much, professor. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope to see you again one day. They said their goodbyes, and Snow White went inside the palace to give her stepmother the mirror. You're back? I mean, um, you're, you're back. How lovely. And I brought you a new mirror. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on, though. It needs batteries. Duh. Oh. <laughs> well, good night. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? Better say me. It's you, my queen. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Squirrel. Keep the cast on for six weeks. And don't get it wet. <laughs> He's totally gonna get it wet. Hey there, Snow White. Let's pause for a second. That was Chef Huntsman. A lot of people just called him the Huntsman because he was actually the official hunter for the king. Okay, let's continue with the story. Hi, Chef. How's it going? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Cool. He's really nice, and he taught me all kinds of wilderness survival skills. He taught me how to call a turkey. Hello, can I please speak to Mr. Turkey? No, like this. <laughs> how to make s'mores. Are they done yet? Are they done yet? Are they done yet? He even taught me what to do if I encountered an angry fire-breathing dragon. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? It's you, it's you all. Oh. Anyway, what I mean is, he's just cool. <laughs> you huntsman boy, I need to speak to you. Now! You better go. She's been super testy lately. Okay, <laughs> see you later. See ya. Huntsman boy, I need you to do a job for me. Sure, your highness. 
you to take Snow White out. On a date? A date? No, I need you to take Snow White deep into the forest and sell her to the wizard. I don't get it. There's nothing to get. You take her into the woods. You sell her to the weird wizard who will turn her into a frog or something. I don't think I can do this. It's not nice. Ugh. If you don't do it, I will. And trust me, that's much worse. The pretty little Snow White. Now run along. You have work to do. This is bad. I mean, you look red. The huntsman was very upset. He went down to sit by the koi pond. That's where he liked to do his serious thinking. I really like Snow White. I couldn't do anything to hurt her. What am I supposed to do? Meanwhile, Snow White went upstairs to do her chores and talked to her friend, the mirror. Hey, how are ya? The queen is making the huntsman take you out. On a date? No, out in the forest where he's gonna sell you to the wizard. Chef Huntsman would never do that to me. The queen said if he doesn't, she'll do worse. I'm gonna miss being a princess, but I will be brave and I will go out into the forest, and I will survive. Aww. One day, I will return. Not as a princess, but as a queen. Snap girl, that was fierce. <laughs> Snow White and the Huntsman set off for their journey into the grim forest. It was a little awkward for a few reasons. So, uh, the sky is blue. Uh, uh I mean, a uh, nice day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day for a stroll. Yeah. Just a nice stroll through a spooky forest. <laughs> Look, I know the queen told you to get rid of me. You do? I won't sell you to the wizard, I promise. Psh, like I was gonna let you. I can't just leave you out here. I'll be okay. You taught me all kinds of survival skills. I better go. Don't want to make the queen mad. See ya, Snow White. See ya, Shep Huntsman. And that's how Snow White began her first day as a non-princess. Well. I better start setting up camp. Perfect. It's shabby chic. <laughs> oh man. Okay, third time's a charm. Excuse me, Snow White? Professor, boy am I glad to see you. What are you doing here? I live here now. <laughs> We're neighbors. Great, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Who's your friend? That's Sassy McSassy Pants. That's your name? I love it. <laughs> My real name is Sasper. It's short for exasperation. No, it isn't. Snow White, you can't live out here like this. Oh, sure I can. I'm not a princess anymore. I'm just a regular girl. Regular girls don't live under a pile of sticks in Grim Forest. Come on, you're moving in with us. No. Aww. Hush, Sasper. Oh, I shouldn't intrude. No, she shouldn't. Nonsense. Let's go. Snow White grabbed her bag and followed the professor and Sasper to their little cottage in the woods. She was so excited. I've never had roommates before. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> ah, good, good morning. morning. How long have you guys been there? We're just so excited. We've never had a princess for a roommate, or any roommate at all, except for all of us, of course. And we used to have a dog. Does that count? I think so. Do you want breakfast? Snacky made pancakes. They're shaped like animals. They're the best. You're so perky for so early in the morning. <laughs> What's your name? Kitty. Cute. You fell asleep as soon as you walked in the door yesterday. OK, let's do names. Of course, I know you, Professor. <laughs> and now you know me and Sassy. I'm Snacky. He's the one who makes the pancakes. I'm sloppy. I see. <laughs> I'm clumsy. That's just my nickname, though. I'm actually quite graceful. I'm okay. Is that everyone? Don't forget me. I'm Tiny. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Well, I'm pleased to meet all of you. <laughs> Finally, it was settled that Snow White would spruce up the cottage in exchange for free room and board. She did other little things too, like cut their hair and make a new chef's hat for Snacky. Oh, and she changed all the light bulbs, which was a huge help. <laughs> Snow White kept so busy that she didn't even have time to miss home. Actually, speaking of home, the evil queen was having a ball without Snow White around. She brought the mirror with her everywhere and showed everyone how it would say that she was the most awesome person in all the land. Ask the mirror if you're the most awesome person. Okay, okay, I'll ask. 
Mirror, mirror, in my hand, who's the most awesome person in the land? It's you, queen. You are so awesome. Pretty rude, though, if you ask me. Hear that? I'm the most awesome person in the land. Three cheers for me. Oh, yay. Let's have a party in my honor. And I'll save my first dance for you, Mr. Huntsman. I, uh, actually can't. I'm busy. Busy? Too busy to attend a party of the queen? What are you doing that's so important? She watched the huntsman from her window as he walked out of the palace and straight toward... Grim Forest? Wow. Suspicious. I'll have to follow him and find out what he's up to. The queen followed the huntsman into the woods. Who's there? What was that? Finally, they stopped. Hey there. Snow White! The queen rushed over to the witch's shop and barged right in. Hey, I don't hear knocking. This is an emergency! I need something! Something... Evil. Yeah, all right. What? No, no, I'm turning to stone. Why? Help, help, help. Wow. Oh no, Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. The dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue. It looks like Snow White. Cool, I want a statue that looks like me. Wait, I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil. The dwarves were so upset. Maybe she could kiss a frog. Here! Why do you have a frog in your pocket? Why not? It's cute! Okay, let's reverse this spell. Maybe say some magic words! Alakazam! Abracadabra! Kalamazoo! What you! It's no use! We don't know magic! We could go to a witch. Yes! We have to save our friend! The professor and Giddy set off to find a witch to reverse the spell. The two finally found what they were looking for. Ye old magic shop! Hello! Hi! Ding, 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 ding! Ah! Uh, I mean, hello! I'm Giddy! Good for you! And I'm the professor! We need to reverse an evil spell! What kind of spell? Our friend was turned to stone! That worked? Wow! Uh, alright, I mean, uh, let's see what I have in the antidote department. That means stuff that undoes bad stuff. While Giddy, Professor, and the witch mixed up the antidote, the evil queen was back at her castle, thinking, How do I know some dingbat isn't gonna stumble along and reverse this spell? I'm sure it's fine. Nope. I'm going back to take the statue. The evil queen strikes again. Wake up, guys! It's time to save Snow White! We have the antsy goat! Wait! Where's Snow White? I bet the evil queen took her. We have to go find her! There's the castle. Now what? We storm the gates and find Snow White! Wait! There's Snow White now! I have the witch's antidote. We'll just go up and turn her back to her old self. Hey, Professor, over here. Hey! Why are you in jail? The queen locked me up for trying to help Snow White. Suddenly, there was the evil queen standing right between the dwarves and Snow White. Save Snow White? Never! We will save her! It's time to fight back. The dwarves grabbed the queen's legs and stopped her in her tracks. Get off me! Get off! The queen tried to move forward, but it was no use. But then she spotted the witch's spell-reversing potion in the professor's hand. Give me that! No way! You got it! <laughs> now get off me! Then the professor had an idea. You want us to let go of you? Yes! Let go! Okay! Let go, guys! <laughs> Evil Queen dropped the antidote and it fell right smack dab on Snow White's head. Shoot, birds! Shoot! Why am I back at the castle? And Shep, why are you in jail? The Evil Queen put me here. No. Where is she? Over there! Owie! Let's bust Shep out of jail and put that bad apple in his place! Yeah! No! Sorry, majority rules! Evil queen drools! <laughs> Once the evil queen was locked away in jail, Shep, the dwarves, and Snow White all kicked back and relaxed, happy as could be. Now how's that for a happy ending? <laughs> and that's the end! <laughs>
Hopefully Snacky can cook up an amazing cake to celebrate. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Hi kids, welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Booksy. What story should we read today? Hmm, let's spin the magic wheel. Wiggle, snap, story time. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alice. So I was here trying my best not to be so bored when I noticed a little white rabbit. This was no ordinary rabbit. He was wearing a suit and glasses. Oh dear, oh dear. I shall be late, oh dear. Well, this was just too curious. I must follow the white rabbit. He slipped into a rabbit hole. So I did too. Whoa, but this was no ordinary rabbit hole. Ah, wait, I'm not really falling. I'm more like floating, like a feather. Did I fall all the way through the earth? Hmm, a small key. But this key is way too small for any of these doors. Well, what do you know? There's a teensy door. Wow, too bad this door's so small. I don't even think I could get my head through. And if I could, what good would my head be without the rest of me? Hey, that wasn't there before. It says, drink me. Hmm, I know I'm not supposed to just drink things willy-nilly. What if it's poison? Or what if it's something just weird, like cauliflower juice? <laughs> hmm, it says here, definitely not poison, and most certainly not cauliflower juice. Well, that's odd. Okay, I'll try just a sip. Mmm, delicious! It tastes like everything I like. Cherry pie, ice cream, pineapples, roast turkey, French toast, mmm, pancakes. Oh, hey, hey, what's happening? Uh-oh, oh, I wonder if I shouldn't have tried that juice. Well, this is totally weird. But hey, now I can go into that garden. Oh no, the key is all the way up there at the table. That's as high as the Empire State Building now. Whoa, oh, there's a giant cookie. Well, if the drink made me smaller, maybe the cookie will make me bigger. Food does make you grow. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, oh, wait, I think. Whoa! Well, this is not what I had in mind. Now I'm so big that I'm stuck. Oh dear, I'm incredibly late. The queen simply will not tolerate this. Oh dear. Please, Mr. Rabbit, I'm stuck. I can't help you now. Didn't you hear me? I'm terribly late. But, but what if I'm stuck up here forever? It's really hot in here and I don't like being a giant. <laughs> Stop crying. I'll get all wet and ruin this new suit. I'm sorry, but this is just really uncomfortable. Ah, well, I'm leaving. Well, that's better at least. Wait, wait a second. I'm shrinking. Woohoo! Oh, oh no. Well, this isn't good. Luckily, I'm a very good swimmer. <laughs> I took lessons at camp. <laughs> oh, look, there's a friendly looking mouse. Yoo hoo! Mousy! Mr. Mouse, do 
do you know how to get to the beautiful garden with the Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round? Come on, follow me. Okay. Soon we were joined by all sorts of small animals. A gang of baby ducks, a salamander, two frogs, and a hamster named Philip. <laughs> we swam and swam and swam, going right under the door and into the garden. When we finally got to dry land, I thought we would go play, or at least find a snack. <laughs> but the animals said they had to have an election. But they couldn't decide what they were voting on, and it got quite noisy. Oh look, there's the white rabbit. He was the one who led me down the rabbit hole, so he must know the way out. I chased after him, but I was too small for him to notice me. Oh, if only there was some more growing potion. And poof, just like magic, there was a little bottle right in my path, and it had a label on it that said, drink me, Alice. Wow. So I took a sip. And I grew! <laughs> what a relief! Oh, I'm me again! Not a great big giant, and not a teeny tiny mouse. Oh, speaking of a tiny mouse, all of the small animals saw me suddenly grow larger, and boy, did that scare them. They all scattered away, shrieking. Girlzilla! She's a giant! Sorry. Where's that darn rabbit this time? I'm looking for a wabbit. I found myself face to face with a giant caterpillar. Wait, did I shrink again? You don't look shrunken to me. But why are you so large? And how did you learn to talk? That's a silly question. Are you silly? I don't think so. Well then, let's hear a poem. Excuse me? I'd like to hear a poem. One that rhymes, please. Um, okay, well, I never heard of a caterpillar who likes poetry, but here goes. <clears throat> this one is called The Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. How dare you accuse the knave of stealing the queen's tart? Don't you know the queen will stay off with his head? It's only a made-up poem. The queen of hearts isn't real. Shh. Of course the queen is real. And if she hears you say she isn't, she'll say off with your head. Oh, no. But I like my head. It helps me think things and see things and smell things. And it has my hair on it. I really like my hair. <laughs> You're a traitor to the queen. Oh, this is a terrible misunderstanding. I, I, I wish I could shrink down so super tiny that I could just escape. Here, eat this. I gobbled up the cookie that he gave me and... Oh no, I grew taller and taller and taller and I was very gigantic. Hey, I want to be small so I could just hide from the queen. You made me even bigger. So you're very easy to spot. Oh, you caterpillar, I ought to step on you. That would be a crime, and the queen would say... Off with her head, yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Oh, where's that rabbit? Oh, look, there's some nice looking fellows that should be able to help me. They're sleeping. Shh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, wait a second. You're just pretending. We were hoping you would leave us alone. Well, that's rude. Says the girl who interrupted our tea party. Your hair is too long. You should get a haircut. Why, you're rude too. Besides, I like my hair. And that rude little mouse is still pretending to be asleep, even though we've met before. I thought we were friends. Oh no, he really is asleep. Poor little guy's exhausted. Oh dear, now I am the rude one. No worries, have some tea. I guess he's a sleep talker. <laughs> the other two introduced themselves as the March Hare and the Mad Hatter. The March Hare was an odd creature indeed. He would butter a piece of toast and take one bite and say, yuck, too much butter, and then on to the next piece of toast. Same thing, over and over again. And the Mad Hatter, 
He was even otter. An otter? Where? Not that kind of otter. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Good. Otters are utterly annoying. Why do you keep dipping your watch into your tea? Well, it all goes back to the time I killed time. And then the Mad Hatter told me the most ridiculous story. He had to sing for the queen. He says he sang an old classic, Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. I told him he had the words all wrong, but he insisted he was right, and I was ruining his story. On he went. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. Anyway, you'll get the idea. While well, the queen jumped up and said he was killing the time, and then she yelled, Off with his head! The Mad Hatter managed to escape, head and all. But ever since, time has been paused, stopped, finished, el finito. Yes, my watch stopped at four o'clock, and we've just been here ever since. It's always tea time. I love tea time, but I do wish dinner time would come. At least you don't ever have bedtime. Bedtime is the worst. <laughs> oh, but I do love bedtime stories. <laughs> Those are so cool. I like stories about princesses and dragons and pirates. Oh, and stories about tigers and, and robots and, and romance. Oh, I love a romance. <laughs> and adventure and ninjas and oh, fairies and, and pixies. And oh, of course, a story about a handsome prince. Enough. We don't have time for you to list every kind of story ever told. Rude. Besides, I thought you had a lot of time. Weren't you listening? We have no time. That's very confusing. All I know is that you are a very rude bunny. And you are a very rude hatter, whatever that is. <laughs> and you, Mr. Mouse, I thought you were supposed to be nice. I am, dear. Quite nice. Lovely to see you. Well, lovely to see you, too. As for the rest of you, I'm going. Perfect. Goodbye. No, bad bye. It's the garden I've been looking for. Woohoo! I should go to the Ferris wheel and get cotton candy. What's that noise? I better hide. Wow, the queen is actually a queen of hearts from a deck of playing cards. I wonder if she likes to play Go Fish. What's that? It smells like a rotten child. Hey, I'm not rotten. I'm really nice. Ask anybody, except the Mad Hatter or the March Hare. They don't think I'm really nice. Off with her head. No way, no, you're not offing with my head. I came here to do two things, ride the Ferris wheel and eat cotton candy. So kindly, your highness, tell me where the Ferris wheel is. She is just a child, dear. Maybe you shouldn't off with her head. Oh. Well, can you at least play croquet? I sure can. Oh boy, do I wish I hadn't said that. The queen's croquet game was totally bananas. The card soldiers had to bend over backwards and frontwards to make the archers hit the ball through. Except the croquet balls were live hedgehogs and no one had any regular mallets. Instead, they used real live pink flamingos. It was the weirdest game ever. But I was too scared not to play or else she might say, off with Alice's head. Hmm. I'm really sorry, you guys. I promise to be very gentle. Thank you. No problem, Alice. Alice began to walk through the garden looking for an apple or a cookie like the ones she'd eaten before. Oh, there's a plate of tarts. Perfect. These are the queen's tarts. Hands off, you dessert thief. Wow. Sorry, I didn't know. All rise. Today, the Honorable Judge, the King of Hearts, will hear the case of the missing tarts. But the tarts are right there. So who stole the tarts? No one. They're right there. It was the knave. The knave of hearts stole the tarts. No, he didn't. Then why did you say he did? I didn't. Don't you remember your poem, Your Honor? <laughs> the evidence. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. The King of Hearts called 
four of the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. And so you see, this giant lady, says the knave of hearts, stole the tarts. Off with his head! No! Please don't off with his head. It was just a made-up poem. Silence in the court. That means you, Alice. But quiet! Or it's off with your head! Hmm, her head is much too large to off. Hey, that's not my fault. Maybe she stole the tarts. What? Me? I'm trying to defend you. She did steal my cookie. Oh dear, this was getting way out of control. Alice didn't steal any tarts. Well, she was going to, but she didn't actually do it. And she never met a knave of hearts before, but she was pretty sure he didn't steal any either. Besides, weren't the tarts right there and not missing at all? Your Honor, we can all see that the tarts are right here. As in, not stolen. So why don't we all just forget about this whole thing and move on? <laughs> Who wants to play croquet? Your Honor, White Rabbit, Caterpillar, animals of the jury. You all have seen me before. You know that for whatever reason, I keep changing size. It's not from eating. Well, I did eat that one cookie and then that other one. Those cookies were magical or something. I don't know. Will the Mad Hatter please take the stand? Oh, great. This guy again. The Hatter bowed before the Queen and then began the silliest nonsense Alice had ever seen or heard. There was a girl who stole some tarts, and Alice was her name -o. a l i c e a l i c e a l i c e and Alice was her name -o. He's just making up this song. No fair! The real song is B-I-N-G-O And then she tried to blame the name -o. Alice was her name -o. a l i c e I don't like this song. Off with his head! Order! Order in the court! The animal jury will decide who is guilty, Alice or the knave. The animals of the jury whispered, barked, meowed, squeaked, and riveted among themselves. Finally, they had their decision. We, the animals of the jury, think it was Alice who ate the tarts. The knave of hearts is as skinny as a card. Nobody ate the tarts. They're right there. Wait. I'm confused. I thought they were stolen. They were stolen, but now they're here. And none are missing? Nope. Well, why are we arguing about this? I wonder why anyone does anything here in Wonderland. It's all so silly. Oh, what did she say about Wonderland? Oh, poo to you. You're nothing but a card. Why don't you go fish? Oh, with her head. The queen sent her entire pack of cards on the attack. They all came flying at Alice, as if someone had shuffled them and thrown them in the air, ninja style. <laughs> what? Huh? I think I'm back at home. Is this real? Ouch! And I think I'm my right size. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> but how did I get back? Was it a dream? No, it couldn't be. But what if I want to go back to Wonderland sometime? It was scary and confusing sometimes, but also kind of fun. <laughs> oh well, time to eat. I love a cookie, or maybe a tart. Shh. Thanks for coming to story time. See you next time. Bye. Will you pass the gravy, please? Hold on, hold on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. It's your turn. Yes, yes, one moment. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This again. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who I'm is trying the to sleep. Of all? So yeah, the mirror was pretty annoying. The queen loved giving Snow White chores, as evil queens tend to do. So one day she was cleaning the evil queen's bedroom. She was just about finished when she noticed some schmutz on the magic mirror. Snow White reached out to dust the mirror and... <gasps> it's you! What? You are the most amazing person in the land! Why, thank you, but don't say that. The queen will get, like, really mad. Ugh, she is so mean. But I can see that you have a good heart. <laughs> Are you actually just an x-ray machine? <laughs> no, I mean you have a good soul. The queen has a rotten soul, by the way. Well, thanks for the compliment, but you really must keep telling her that she's the best. Promise? Okay. Long story short, the mirror did not keep his promise for long. <gasps> uh-oh.
Uh-oh. I hope it's not the wolf. The big bad wolf? He huffs, and he puffs, and he... Probably not him. <laughs> Who's there? Who is there? Fleas! Fleas who? Fleas, open the door! I mentioned to tell you, I am a changed woman! Bad wolf? He huffs and he puffs and he. Probably not him. <gasps> who is it? Anita. Anita, who? Anita, use the bathroom! Sorry, 